Drawing a pop bottle in correct perspective. This is our final pop art project and this is a bottle that we've drawn and we've used Bende dots uh, to create color on our pictures. You will have a sheet, it's a pop art and Roy Lichtenstein handout with Bende dots on the back so you don't have to make your own Bende dots. And you're going to choose a pop bottle or water bottle or juice bottle and you're going to take a piece of tape and put your name on that bottle. Step one is setting up. You're going to want to make sure that you put your pop bottle in front of you. That way you can see it. Keep your eyes on the pop bottle. The secret to being a good drawer, a good drawing artist, is keeping the pop bottle in front of you and looking at that pop bottle, learning how to see it. I'm keeping my pop bottle off to the side um, just because I'm keeping the camera in front of me. The step two is folding the paper and beginning to draw. So you're going to want to make two lines, one line at the top and one line at the bottom. The top is going to be the top of your bottle and the bottom is going to be the bottom of your bottle. The reason we do this is because some students, when they start to draw, they end up making their pop bottle too small. So we want to make sure that it fills up the whole space. Next, you're going to fold your paper in half. So there's a crease down the middle and you can put a line down that crease. And the reason we do this is because we want our bottles to be somewhat symmetrical. Um, if you'll remember, we talked about the line of symmetry. So the line of symmetry is down the middle of our bottle because the bottle is about the same on each side. And I'm just going to draw on one side of this line. Now when I look at the top of my bottle, I see an oval. So the first part I'm going to draw is that half of the oval on that one side. It should be curved on the top and the bottom. If your bottle is flat on the top and or the bottom, then it means you're not using correct perspective. And I'm looking at my bottle, the outside of my bottle, for the outline. It's an imaginary line, and I'm drawing that outline as best as I can. Now one problem that some students run into is they don't make it wide enough on the one side and so their bottles end up really really skinny either that or they make it too wide and it looks too fat this is about the distance that I want for my bottle it's about two inches or so from the middle line and then I'm just gonna copy it on the same side once you have that first side done it's actually a lot easier doing that second side save some time and there I am and then you can easily erase if you need to move some things. I realize mine is a little bit too thick. Step three is drawing the logo. So I have a logo on mine. It says Mountain Dew. If your tape is covering your logo, you can move it over. And I'm going to draw the Mountain Dew logo. You also um, would want to include any details like if it has the calories or nutrition facts or other writing on your bottle. And step four is writing your name in the bottom right hand corner. So we're going to sign our name. This makes sure that it comes back to you next class when you want to work on it again. And it helps me in grading. And there you are.